Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Great Master Worker, May 17. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, making something at the wheel. Jeremiah 18.3 it is because God is leading them that these things come upon them. Trials and obstacles are the Lord's chosen methods of discipline and His appointed conditions of success. He who reads the hearts of human beings knows their characters better than they themselves know them. He sees that some have powers and susceptibilities which, rightly directed, might be used in the advancement of His work. In his providence, he brings these persons into different positions and varied circumstances that they may discover in their character the defects which have been concealed from their own knowledge. He gives them opportunity to correct these defects and to fit themselves for his service. Often he permits the fires of affliction to assail them that they may be purified. The fact that we are called upon to endure trial shows that the Lord Jesus sees us something precious which he desires to develop. If he saw us in nothing whereby he might glorify his name, he would not spend time in refining us. He does not cast worthless stones into his furnace. It is valuable ore that he refines. The blacksmith puts the iron and steel into the fire that he may know what manner of metal they are. The Lord shows his chosen ones to be placed in the furnace of affliction to prove what temper they are of and whether they can be fashioned for his work. The potter takes the clay and molds it according to his will. He kneads it and works it. He tears it apart and presses it together. He wets it and then dries it. He lets it lie for a while without touching it. When it is perfectly pliable, he continues the work of making of it a vessel. He forms it into shape and on the wheel trims and polishes it. He dries it in the sun and breaks it in the oven. Thus it becomes a vessel fit for use. So the great master worker desires to mold and fashion us. And as the clay is in the hands of the potter, so are we to be in his hands. We are not to try to do the work of the potter. Our part is to yield ourselves to be molded by the master worker. For the reflection, how have I delayed the completion of my vessel by removing myself from the hands of the great master worker?